Hello friends, this video will teach you how to set up your layout. So watch it without missing any parts. Okay before we talk about the layout, if you are new to AutoCAD software, I recommend you to have a look on our AutoCAD basic tutorial video first. And don't forget to like and subscribe as support to the creator. Now, I assume that whoever watching this video has somehow learned to draw or work on AutoCAD. So, the next part is printing or publishing. Here we can see Model and Layout tab. At Model, we will have our drawings. Most probably in an actual size which may be in meters, kilometer, feet etc. But, Layout is the space where we arrange our drawings from model space by providing proper scale in order to print or publish on a standard papers. So, let's switch to Layout by clicking here. And we can add more layouts just by clicking on this plus sign. After switching to Layout, we will see this white blank space, this area is called paper space. Right now it is random or default in size. And we can see a rectangle already on it. This rectangle is called a viewport. This viewport works like a hole to see inside the model space. We can drag this rectangle to any size. If we double click inside this, we can zoom or pan wherever we want. And we can also work or edit like this and when done just double click at the outer part of this viewport. And also we can perform almost all the activities or commands what we do in model space here. Now, let's say we are going to publish the drawing in a 3 size paper. So let's set the paper size. Let's right click on this layout tab. We can see lots of command here. They are simple to understand, you can try all. But for now let's focus on our target. So click on Page Setup Manager. In this dialog box, we can select our layout if it's not being selected when there are more layouts. Click on Set Current if it's not. Or we can just create a new one. Then click on this Modify button. And now we can see a new dialog box here. This is where we need set up all the things for either printing or publishing. In this printer or plotter section, at name, let's click here, we will find here all the available printers and plotters options. We can select our available printer here if we are going to print. For now we will only make PDF. So, let's click on this DWG to PDF option. You can try others if you like to. Now let's click on this properties. We can see furthermore settings which for now we will not change anything from here because leaving default will work. Close it. In this PDF options, switching on this show results in viewer will allow us to view created PDF right after its creation otherwise we will have to open it from the place where it has been saved. Now, here at paper size, we can find list of standard paper sizes in this drop down list. As we are going set the paper size to A3, let's select this ISO full bleed A3 with the size given 297 by 420 millimeters. In this plot area, we can see four options here, we will try others while previewing plot. But for now let's set here layout. This will allow us for automatic plotting the paper size PDF. And in this plot offset, it show X and Y coordinate of layout, leaving it as it is will set our plot exactly on the layout. If we change its units to let's say 20 at X, our plotting will start from 20 millimeters shifted to right. Rarely we may use this, so let's leave it to X0 and Y0. We can see these two options, center the plot and fit to paper or fade out, that's because we will be able to use this option only while plotting, not while setting the plotter. Here in this scale, these options are for selecting the scale of our paper. Right now we will not change the scale of paper, that means let's select one is to one. And our paper size will be exactly 420 mm by 297 mm, this scale line weights option is for scaling line weight as we scale the paper size. Since we have one is to one paper size, doesn't matter to this option. Now let's see plot style table. Here we have some default options for plotting. This options is used for as a whole look of our final published document. This is very important part of our page setup. So I will explain about mainly three plot styles here. First one let's say a CAD.CTB. This option is a color dependent plot style table used for controlling how colors are plotted, especially for hard copy and electronic output. If we want to publish our document in color, we shall select this plot style. And grayscale.ctb. 
This plot style is configured to plot shades of gray and black. Our drawing will have grayscale output as per the depth of color we use in our drawing. Similarly monochrome.ctb. In this plot style, by default, maps all colors to black, resulting in a monochrome, black and white, plot. You can try others too, or we can also create a new one and customize as per our requirement. And we can also customize these default plot styles properties. Click here, we can customize the properties of the colors we use in our drawing. After modifying, just save and close. Now, we have one options here, display plot style. If we select this option, we will see the preview of our drawing for output right on the layout. Like if we select monochrome plot style and select this option, we will see all the lines inside this viewport in block color. If we deselect this, we will see used color. But after publishing, result will be same either we select this option or not. Quality. This option is for quality of publishing. We can choose the options here. For now let's leave normal. Plot options. These options allow us to choose whether to apply the following settings to our drawing while publishing or not. Plot object line weights will allow to plot the line thickness we have assigned in our drawing components. Plot transparency will allow transparency of objects or hatch. Plot with plot styles will use this plot style for plotting. Plot paper space last. This option will allow to plot model space geometry first. Usually paper space geometry is plotted before model space geometry. Hide paper space objects. This option specifies whether hide operation applies to objects in a paper space viewports. While roaming cursor around the options, we can get further more details. Now drawing orientation, this options will allow us to set the paper orientations. For now landscape. And we can always preview the setting by clicking here at preview button. Now let's click on OK. And also close this dialog box. Now we can check this size. It's the size of standard A3 paper. Now let's create one simple template as sample. Select or create a layer for template boundary. You can try on your own way. But let me show you how I do. First I create outer boundary which will not be printed. REC for rectangle command and click somewhere and give the size 420 and comma and 297 for the size as a 3 paper. We can move it tentatively over the paper space. Now I will offset 8 millimeters inside for printable area. And I will stretch the side 6 millimeters further inside for bindings. You can choose which side to align the project details. For now I will choose at the bottom. We can also bring template from other drawings by copy and paste if we have. Let's keep this viewport to viewports layer. Now we can double click inside this viewport and zoom to the part we want. Now double click outside this viewport. Now while zoom in and zoom out, the view inside viewport will not change. Now let's bring the properties toolbar. We can bring this from view and click on properties button, or we can simply type control and one from keyboard. Now select this viewport and move the cursor to right side. And we can see here the scale options for our drawings. We can see here annotation scale, standard scale, and custom scale. We have choosing options for this too and for custom scale we can type by ourselves. For now let's click inside this viewport and zoom to our drawing so that it includes whole part of our drawing. Let's get out of viewport. Select viewport and check its properties. Here in custom scale, type the nearest number that divides 1000 without leaving any reminder or with decimals. Draw a line. Let's say 10 which means 10 meters in model space or 10 meter as actual site measurement. Now double click outside the viewport and measure the line like this. Not exactly over the ends but at certain offset. Here we can see 100 which is in millimeters. 10 meters in sight means 10,000 millimeters. So divide 10,000 with 100. It gives 100. Therefore our scale is 1 is to 100. This is very basic and easy way for knowing scale. 
we can now give title and scale as 1 is to 100. Again, if we want to show detail blow up part of same drawing, we can make new viewport. We can just type MV and enter for making new viewport and make rectangle like in rectangle command. And we will get new viewport with everything on model workspace inside this viewport. Or we can just copy the existing viewport. And zoom and pan to required view and arrange it to required location. And provide title and scale. Now, let's assume we are ready for printing or publishing. We can just type Ctrl plus P from keyboard. This time we have page setup name also available. Here we can add previously set setup if we have any. Or just select previous plot from this drop down list. When first time, we just leave it as none. All the options are those we have set when setting up page setup. So we can just click on preview. So here is how our PDF will look like. If it looks okay we can just right click anywhere and click on plot and we can choose the save location and click save. And if we have some changes and needs to prepare new PDF, type Ctrl plus P. Here in name we can select previous plot and just click OK. And select the location and save it. If we want to plot some part of layout, we can now select here Windows and select the area and see the preview. The selected portion is shown at the bottom left corner. We can also zoom in and zoom out here. Let's press escape or right click and select exit. Now we can see here window is set. If we want to put the selected area at center we have to check this center the plot. And let's see preview. Now the selected window portion is at center of our A3 page. We can print by right click and plot. Or escape for more setup. Now let's also select this fit to paper option and see the preview. We can see the selected window portion is zoomed to fit in our A3 paper. Press escape and let's unselect these two options. And now let's select here layout again. Let's see preview. The layout display has changed. Press escape. The change is because during our window selection process, here X and Y coordinate were also changed. And also scale at this side was disturbed. So, to bring back the layout display to normal, we need to change these X and Y to zero. And scale to one is to one. Now let's see preview. We can see our layout is working properly. These options we can use sometimes as per the task. Now if we have multiple sheets to prepare, we can just copy this like this. Or we can also copy this layout by right clicking on this layout, click on copy or move. Click on create a copy and select before any layout or move to end. And similarly we can arrange our drawing in this new layout. Here let's select this viewport and check its properties. We can try changing all other settings. On miscellaneous, first option will work for showing or not showing the content of selected viewport. And display locked will allow to restrict the zoom and pan inside viewport. You can try others too. So this much will be enough for learning the quick settings of layout. You can explore many other options and can comment if any problem arises. Keep learning. And thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.